talked with them, I've met with them, I've done their graduation classes, and uh, our police department has had dinner with them up there, and they're, they're good people, and like I always comment, be careful how you think about a person that might be your dentist, your dentist or your doctor. <laughs> As long as we stay civil and there are no nasty remarks, we'll keep going. But I, it's uh, you just keep your name and address as you come up, please. Respected Mayor, Council Members, and respected audience. My name is Samad, and I'm a proud, uh, proud resident of Blade. I'm a proud resident of uh, Blade since last five years, and currently I represent uh, the Alcom Center of Excellence. So just to give you a brief understanding of what Darul Arham does, Darul Arham is actually uh, uh, does a Quran study program similar to Bible study program where children learn pronunciation of Quran, they learn how to recite the Quran, and they also memorize the Quran from page to page. So I heard a comment saying that it's an Islamic center which is totally different. It is totally different. This is education center where it's totally focused towards uh, uh, Quran education. And there is a there was a uh, there was a demand in the community, and community members were actually looking to move out to different states uh, to fulfill this demand. Uh, two, three members of the community came together and said that we need to start the, something to stop people from moving out. These are our friends. These are our, we see them every day. So that's how we started. And also, I would like to mention that uh, when, this is not something that we started a month ago. We rented a 700 square foot within that building itself. And uh, currently we have about five to six students full time. And on weekend we have about four, stu uh, four students on the weekend uh, on the weekend program. And uh, no complaints, no complaints from the neighbors. I never got anything to see. Uh, and uh, it's been fantastic for us until we came to the planning commission uh, meeting and we saw some neighbors who have concern about the traffic. Uh, what we did last last week on Tuesday is that. We had an open house for the community, as, as the mayor rightly said. We said that we need to invite people and they need to see what we do. We are, we are part of the community, we want to share what we have. And uh, we went, the uh, day before that, we went to about 20, 30 houses. We gave the flyers that come have pizza with us, come have coffee with us, see what we got here. And uh, there were a few members of the community who showed up. We shared with them and they, they said that you addressed our concerns. So that, that was basically, I think that was a very positive move that, that came from the community itself. Also, I would like to mention that in the last, uh, last time there were uh, uh, concerns about are we paying taxes. Yes, we did pay taxes this year and we are paying taxes next year. Okay? <laughs> and we intend to pay taxes. So uh, that, that was one more thing. Another thing, uh, the traffic. Uh, what we use today uh, is I-65. I talked to the parents. Anybody use Lincoln Avenue? They said, we use Central Avenue if you are coming from Northside. Uh, Northside parents said that we come from I-65, we make a right, we are in the building. When we, when people coming from the friendly side, they take 83rd, they, take, they make a right on Quick Trip. They, take, they, make a, they use the service road. Uh, taking a Lincoln Avenue is actually extra miles and extra gallons. So nobody goes through that route, it's actually a shorter route to take the service road. And uh, uh, also on I-65, I was just Googling online to see how much traffic we have. 55,000 vehicles per day. 20 cars per day is crossing a bush. This is what I think. This is what I think. And, uh, and one more thing. Somebody asked that, will the kids be running in the community to, you know, in the, in the neighborhood and they will come into the class or leave from the class? We said that we have security concerns about the kids, so we want the parents to drop the kids in the parking spot so the teacher will come and pick up the uh, kids. So that's all I have to say and I request your approval today. It's been a uh, long waiting for us. Uh, this conditional approval will help us to move out with, our, uh, with the purpose of uh, fulfilling the community. Thank you so much. We had a motion on the floor to postpone. There's a second, Mr. Clark. All those in support signify the same thing. Aye. All those opposed? No, no. no. The motion is not supported. No, do you, we have a motion and a second on the main? We have a motion and a second on the main motion to approve. Let's vote on that. All right, do you want to roll call? Let's roll call. Ms. Crow. Council Member Burke? Yes. Council Member Clark? Yes. Herbst? Yes. Cole? Yes. Swanson? I am abstaining. Mayor Lyon? Yes. 
passes five um, yeses and one abstain. سلام عليك صلوات الله عليك يا نبي سلام عليك يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك صلوات 